Do do dee. It's Nandi. Hello friends. I'm just back from holiday today and just in time to record a quick video on the newest character to come to Tacticus, Arjak Rockfist. These character videos are a regular feature on my channel and by now you'll know what to expect. As always, timestamps and chapter markings are available if you want to skip ahead. If you want to support me and my work, please consider entering my referral code at the end of the video. It earns you 100 Blackstone and also goes a long way in allowing me to continue to do this. Arjak Rockfist is a named character in the Warhammer 40k universe. He is affectionately called the Man Mountain due to his large size and has served as the personal champion and bodyguard of Logan Grimnar, the Space Wolves chapter master. Arjak is renowned for his size and strength, but also for his bravery, where he has countless times risked his own life in order to save that of his packmates. Arjak's strength allows him the ability to wield particularly large and potent weapons. In one hand, he carries Foe Hammer, which is an oversized Thunder Hammer that features a miniaturized teleporter. This allows Foe Hammer to return to Arjak's hand after it has been thrown. In his other hand, Arjak carries the Anvil Shield, which is an oversized Storm Shield that doubles as a bludgeoning weapon to shatter his enemies' bones and skulls. We'll see these two ancient and powerful weapons in action in Arjak's kit. Let's start by taking a look at Arjak's traits and abilities. First off, as usual, shout out to the art department who've done a fantastic job with his anvil shield and his foe hammer. The graphics look amazing and animations superb. Well done, as usual. So in terms of traits, Arjak has resilient, deep strike and terminator armor, none of which are new to the game. You'll see his stats on screen scale to level 50 and noteworthy is his movement of two. He has a melee power attack with three hits and his equipment is a standard array apart from his block item, which is the Iron Halo, giving him a 35% block. His active ability is Foe Hammer, which allows him to target a unit within two hexes to do power damage and stunning them until the beginning of Arjak's next turn. Stun is a new mechanic that reduces enemy movement to one and doesn't allow them to use active abilities. His passive is Foe Shield, it says that whenever Arjak blocks, he blocks an additional amount and covers the attacker's hex in ice, regardless of whether the attacker is in melee or ranged. There's also a bonus to block when Arjak is below 35% health. Next, let's take a look at Arjak's active ability. Here, he deep strikes next to an unsuspecting Dark Strider and uses his active Foe Hammer. On Dark Strider's turn, you can see the debuff stunned, reducing his movement to one his damage by 50% and negating his ability to use the active. So when Dark Strider comes closer to, to Arjak, he's not able to use his own active ability. His weak melee attack does barely any damage and Arjak is able to chase Dark Strider down and punish him for his misdemeanors. Dark Strider attempts to run across the map and hide, but is unsuccessful as he does so, Arjak chasing him down to completion. Hashtag buff Dark Strider. In this next round of battle, Dark Strider is back with a friend, Ravas. What I'm trying to demonstrate in this clip is the effect of having a block on both melee and ranged attackers. You can see that Ravas's attack was blocked and there is a faint echo of ice on the character's hex. The rest of this battle again is just a demonstration of how that ice effect applies whenever a block is achieved. Now that uh, Arjak is below 35% health, you'll see something else being applied to melee attackers. Keep your eye on Dark Strider here as he attacks Arjak. Here, his square was previously empty and having had an attack blocked, he's now covered in ice and stunned. This is the summary infographic for Arjak. These character infographics will be downloadable from the wiki in a day or two. Let's take a moment to focus in on the stats radar courtesy of my friend Tawan. Every time a character comes out, I turn to him and he runs the math to help me work out where the character sits against the current crop in terms of stat centiles. Thanks again, Tawan. You can see here just how much of a monster Arjak is from a tankiness point of view. 
He scores in the 91st centile for health and 84th centile for armour. His movement of 2 is a noteworthy drawback, but probably necessary given just how tanky this guy is. What's my take? I think that Arjak is going to be incredibly good in PvP. I've already demonstrated how tanky he is through his stats, then you get to add a minimum of a 40% block chance, which can scale to 60% through his passive. All of this is done even before we talk about his Terminator armor and resilient traits, which make him even harder to kill. The obvious drawback is his movement of 2, but when you give him deep strike and an active that has a targeted stun, I think he will be incredible. Remember, Arjak doesn't need to kill everyone himself. He can be a pretty formidable obstacle for your opponents to try and get past in modes like Tournament Arena, where they are naturally drawn to certain hexes that contain boosts. Long story short, I really like him and he's my favourite Space Wolf thus far. A lot of you have asked me for the missions for the two week hero release event, so here they are. The team on the wiki update this regularly as well, so I would check there for further updates. I've recently found out that when you enter someone else's refer a friend code, you also earn 100 blackstone. Bear in mind it's a one time use thing, but if you enjoy the work that I do and would like to support me to continue this endeavour, please consider entering my refer a friend code on screen. The Pants of Horus cluster is now down to its last few open slots. Consider joining us via Discord link in the video description below and come over for a chat. Even if there's no room currently, we have players retiring every so often, so think about putting your name forward as a waiting list candidate. That's all for now folks, keep an eye on the channel in the coming days where I will release a Morgan Ra video to get you ready for his final run of the event. Have a nice day, bye. Doo -doo -dee. It's Nandi!